Today we're going to do some painting experiments. So you can see I've tried some of these experiments at the top. Let's talk about each of these experiments so that you know what you're going to do. So in the first box, what we're gonna do is an experiment with making marks, just like we did with our pencil, only now we're gonna make marks with a paintbrush. So I'm gonna pick my color of paint that I would like to use, and I'm just gonna try some different marks. So I might try to make things that are sort of curved, I might try to make things that are straight, I might try dots, I might try blobs. Try just different types of marks with your paintbrush and see how it works. Now the one thing we wanna be really careful about is not contaminating our paint. So contaminating means getting the colors mixed together in our paint set. So in order to avoid that, I'm gonna rinse my brush really good and that'll get all the paint off, but I also don't want this water getting into my paint because that will also contaminate it and make my paint really runny and then it'll spread on my paper. So to stop that, I'm just gonna tap my paintbrush on the sponge and that gets all the water out. So now I can switch to another color and now I might try another kind of mark on my paper. So we're just experimenting with different types of marks on our paper. So that's the first box. In the second and the third boxes, we're gonna do some experiments with light and dark. So I'm gonna rinse my brush again really good, clean it off, tap it on the sponge, and I'm gonna try an experiment to make the paint get lighter. So in this box, I'm gonna add a little paint, and we only need a little bit of paint. There should be <coughs> plenty of, of, of paint for you to use. And to make it lighter, I could use one of these colors to lighten that up. So I'm going to clean my brush off really good, tap on the sponge, and I think I'm gonna add some white. Because <coughs> that's a pretty light looking color. And I'm gonna mix it right on my paper. And you can see that that lightened up that color really well. So in this box, you can try different experiments with lightening different colors. In this one, we're gonna make darker colors. So again, I'm gonna rinse that brush really good, pick my color that I'd like to work with, paint a little bit of a blob on there. And now if I wanna make this get darker, I'm looking here, the darkest color I have is probably gonna be black. So I'm gonna add some black to this, but I wanna give you a secret. A little bit of black goes a long way. So I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit on there and then mix it in. And you can see how that darkens up that color right there, okay? Now, in the next box, we're gonna make secondary colors. Now you can see there are no secondary colors in your paint set. There's only primary colors. So I know that secondary colors are made when I mix primary colors together. So in this box, I'm gonna see what happens when I mix some of these colors together. So if I mix a little yellow, rinse my brush out really good, and add a little bit of blue, Oh, look at that, I get green. So in this space, we're gonna make those three secondary colors. So in one, one space, you'll have a little bit of green. Let's see what happens if we do yellow with the red. We get a little bit of, oh, orange. So I've got some green and some orange. So I wonder what that third color is gonna be. I haven't tried red and blue yet, so let's put a little red in there. Clean that brush off, and we're gonna get a little bit of blue into that. There we go. All right, in the next box, we're gonna try a little bit of layering. So for layering, I'm gonna take one color, paint it first, And then I'm gonna let that dry for just a little bit. You can blow on it if you want. And let that dry for just a second. And then when it's dry, I want you to paint over the top of it so that you have a layering effect. So once it's dried, and you might have to leave your experiment and come back to it, but see what would happen if I try to just paint over the top of that. And so this could probably be a little bit drier. But I can even try it with different colors, so I'm not trying to mix them together. In this case, I'm really trying to paint 
one color on top of the next. So, you know, right now it's kind of interesting to try it while it's still wet, but maybe in a little while I'll come back to this one and try painting on it again. In the last space, I want you to try to sketch and fill. So here, sketch out a picture of whatever you want. Remember to draw nice and light. And then your goal is to try to fill it in the best you can by staying in the lines. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush here, pick my color, and now I'm gonna be trying to be very super careful. So I'm just trying to see what it takes to really control where that paint is going and how I'm going to keep that where it's supposed to be, okay? And it may be that you have to change the angle that you're painting. You may have to change how much paint you put on your brush. You may have to try different ways of directions or um, starting spots. So just kind of play around with that and see what it takes for you to be able to stay in the lines of your drawing with that brush. And so this experiment might take a little patience and we might have to slow down just a little bit. So there are your six painting experiments, different types of marks, make something lighter, make something darker, mix the three secondary colors, layer, so paint one color on top of the next, and finally, how do we control that paint and stay in the lines by drawing a picture first and then trying our best to fill it in?